Howdy y'all, I'm TJ with Bear Clan Gaming. This is Seven Days to Die, the Lake House. Welcome back. Good morning of day seven. We are at the Desert Shotgun Messiah, hoping to get some good weapons, some ammo, all that fun jazz. We're also pretty low on food, so I found a spot on the way down. I think we can find some food in. The only trick is, is I need to level up at least one more time because I need to double harvest. So we're going to run through this, hopefully real quick. Uh, it took me about two in-game hours to, to mini bike down here. So I'm hoping that's how long it takes us to get back. Plus a stop. Let's see, we are currently at loot stage 50. So ho I'm hoping we find some uh, some better stuff. I really am. Where are they at? Oh. And down she goes. Alright, some boosts, some boosts. Yeah, we haven't found the book yet to harvest the medical stuff. Or the acid from medical stuff. So we're going we gonna to hold on that for a minute. No? Okay. Locked. Yeah, no lock picks. Um, I also don't want to spend a whole bunch of time just bashing through stuff because I know... Ooh, iron armor schematic. Because I know there's um, not locked chests and there is one for sure locked one that I'd like to get to. So we'll just keep moving. Probably should have made some lockpicks before we came down here, but eh. I forgot. I'm human, okay? That was kind of low. I don't know if there's anybody above. Okay, you guys did see that go through that rabbit, right? Okay. Well, we got dinner at least. Not bad, not bad. Some iron leg armor. Kind of want to keep it light armor. Ooh, I like what I saw there. Yes. This is pretty good, too. This might replace our pipe rifle. We'll have to play with that. Barbed wire mod. It can, but eh, I like the weighted mod a little better. And then you go here for now. Just to maximize everything and save some inventory space. This is the front of the building. It's going to take them a while to get in here. Hi. We're closed. Go away. Any drinks? Some beer. Some water. Some tea. We are a little bit thirsty. There we go. Can't loot any of that, huh? Alright. It's a pretty big facility. Oh, I thought I heard another one. Hi. 
Anything in here? Nope. Anything back here? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's get reloaded. I definitely hear somebody beating over here. Be really nice if we found some lockpicks, though. I can't think that coyote's the one beating on the wall. Sounds like it's outside. Okay. I just wake everybody up. It would appear so. Let our steel club do our talking. Run out of stamina. Oh, it's a sneaky snake. I can't remember if we've drunk the beer book. Looks like we have. That's good stamina. Clear these rooms here. Just made it a little easier. Thank you. Stand up, biker boy. What the? Oh, he feral, though. Alright, let's let our stamina get back up. Might as well wake everybody up, too. That's all I need is that wolf come running up behind me. That would not be cool. Alright, let's see what's going on in this room. Nothing. Oh, but I'm definitely going to want to clear out before we go after the main stash. I for sure saw a cop. Let's see. <laughs> he blowed up. There's at least three more out there. Mr. Lumberjack. Three, he makes four, a couple more. I'll take that, thank you. Ooh, that's a way better axe. I like that. Don't touch me. Now we gotta do some healing. And she's gonna be all fast now. Ah, there's another one. Stamina, stamina, stamina. Always with the stamina early game. Always. Alright, a couple more. Yep, that looks like it. Yeah, it's going to take him forever to get through, too. So let's just go uh, let's check the main loop. And see what we got. Uh, I don't exactly know what we're going to do with the hardened chest, but let's... Let's 
Saves us a whole swing. Level 6 sledge, nice. Some knuckle wraps, pretty good. Sell those. Ammo, always like. Gun store box. Ammo, ammo, ammo. Sniper. Leg shots cripple all but the strongest enemies. Now, what to do about you? See, these things have like 10,000 hit points. I've only got a level 2 pick. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a while, and I don't think I have any repair kits. What about this? Alright, I think here's what we're going to do. I want it, because I need guns and stuff. I mean, yeah, I've got a hunting rifle and a level 6 pipe machine gun, but I want to see what's in here. So, I'm going to pause it and just smash my way in. And I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, should be the last hit. Boom. Oh, yeah, steel tool schematic. Definitely use that. All right, Knuckles, eh. Yes, 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 yes. That was well worth the wait. Okay. It's pretty good, pretty good. I don't think we missed anything critical. I don't think. Okay, so I know I missed the gun safe inside, but I'm not super concerned with gun safes right now. They don't seem to be outputting very well. Their loot settings must be jacked up. And then there's a small safe, but I, I need food. And like I said, it is day seven, and I still have a little bit left to do on the horde base. Because I need to reinforce those uh, wood bars I left at the top. But I want to go back to the garden house I found on the way up here. And I'll kind of show you where it's at. And if you see these, you definitely want to attack them. They have a lot of good food. They have uh, potatoes, corn, just about everything, I think. I'll see you there. And here's what it looks like as you're coming up to it. It's the greenhouse on the left here. I am carrying way too much stuff. And then I should have... Yep, I have another perk point. Another skill point. And I want to put it into living off the land. So I double the harvest of wilder planted crops. Now, I definitely wanted to use that before I went in here because that's what we're going to be doing is harvesting a bunch of stuff. So now I get two yucca, not one. And I'm betting there's going to be quite a few zombies in here. Alright, let's get all sneaky sneaky. Because there is quite a few zombies in here. I hit her in the butt. And now it's on like Donkey Kong. I know there's more. This steel club, man, even at level one with no strength perks, is insanity. And there should be... Yeah, there should be one up there. We're just going to start harvesting. And we are going to take almost everything. Hey, there's a bottle of acid. Yeah, we're currently rocking Alpha 20.1, and I read in the patch notes that they increased the chance of acid harvest. Which is nice for some... Some people had a really hard time finding acid. We haven't had a really tough time of it on this playthrough. And then once you find that book, it does it does get quite a bit easier. And there's our day seven turning red. All right, now we need to get up there. I forgot. Now we have room. 
we're getting yeah, it looks like we're getting hungry again. I want that, but I don't care about that. There we go. Good, 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 good. Turn robotic turret into a makeshift shotgun. Craft robotic turret shells. Not too shabby. We're going to just scrap this. It ain't worth a whole bunch. Definitely worth less than that book. Mm-hmm. All right, let's head back to the mini bike and get back to base. This is definitely a nice little area to loot. If only we had more space. See you back at base. So, we got some food going. We have uh, some repair kits crafting. So we're not going to starve to death. We are all organized. So uh, we'll leave it here at uh, about 10 a.m. on day 7. We have a little bit more time before the horde. And what we're probably going to do with it on the next episode is do some trader quests. I'd like to get into the tier 3, tier 4. At probably tier 3. I don't think we're going to get to till tier 4 for a while. Get into the tier 3 quests a little bit. See if we can't get some uh, some ammo, some better tools. We do have the ability to craft steel tools. The problem is we don't have any steel. So we'll have to look work on getting that crucible. That, that may take a while. But if you've liked the video so far, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you have, thank you very much. Until next time, laters.